Hi everyone, Paul Hayward here. Welcome to the channel. This is where I upload saxophone lessons to help you be the best sax player you can be. In this video, I'm gonna show you what we could call the smooth note or even the romantic note. We'll look at what it is, how to find it in every key and how to use it in your playing. This is a great sound to know about that will add extra color and emotion to what you play. Stick around to the end of this video where I'll do some extra improvisation to demonstrate the use of this note um, and I'll leave some empty backing tracks so you guys can all practice it as much as you want. So before we start, I'd just like to say a really big thank you to my Patreon patrons for supporting the channel and helping me to make videos like this for you guys. So this smooth note really does have its own character or colour um, that can add to your playing. And say we were playing over a minor chord or a piece of music in a minor key using our minor pentatonic, we add this one note in and it really adds a kind of smooth feel, a bit more of a romantic feel. So a bit of minor pentatonic and then I'll throw in this note. Okay, so you can hear how that adds a little bit more character to what we're playing. So in a static improvising context, for example, performing over one chord or um, a piece of music that stays in one key with not much harmonic variation, um, the pentatonic scales are a fantastic place to start. Um, they're used in so much in styles of music like funk, pop, smooth jazz, um, and many other styles of music. And I like to think about adding notes to that minor pentatonic scale to create whatever mood or sound you're looking for. So we recently looked at the funk note, links in the description, and we're going to do another video coming up soon about the blues note, which I'll link in the description for this one as well when it's done. And with all of these notes that we're adding into the pentatonic, we really want to try and remember the numbers of what they are, because if we can remember the number of what it is, then we can apply it to any key that we're playing in. Whenever anyone talks in numbers while they're explaining notes or phrases or music harmony, those numbers relate back to the major scale. It's like a music theory constant that we can always relate back to um, and know what we're talking about. So this smooth note is actually the ninth, and so that's effectively the same as the second note in a major scale, but we call it the ninth because of how chords are constructed. Um, so if we take the E major scale and go one more step up, that's our ninth note. One, three, five, seven, nine. So we get the F sharp at the top and obviously we've got an F sharp at the bottom of the scale as well. So we've got the second or the ninth. The note works in whatever octave you want to play it, so you can call it the second or the ninth, um, but I just wanted you to know the theory behind that they're the same note. So whatever key you're playing in, you play the ninth or the second note of the major scale of that key. Another way to remember it is that it's just a tone up from the root of the key you're playing in, so E to F sharp. <laughs> the whole tone, which is of course two semitones. So whichever way you want to think of it and find it, that's absolutely fine. There's three ways there. A tone up, two semitones up from the root, or actually knowing the second or ninth of the key you're in. Just apply whichever you're comfortable with to any key that you want to play in, and you should find that smooth note. So for this video, we're going to be in concert G minor, so that's R, E minor on alto saxophone and A minor for the tenor saxophones. So let's take our minor pentatonic, so alto, E minor, so that's E up to the G, up to the A, up to the B, up to the D, with the octave key on, and then up to the E at the top. Now we're going to go up the scale and we're going to add the ninth on top of it. So E, right, 
F sharp at the top there. So just have a little listen to the difference of sound there. That's just the minor pentatonic. Now if I add the ninth in. So that's just wandering around the minor pentatonic scale adding in that F sharp. Now we can also use the blues scale and add the ninth in. Blue scale, then add a bit of ninth in. So we get a little bit of that smooth flavour in with the bluesy scale as well. So blue scale, uh, let's take the, so we're going E to G up to the A, up to the B flat, I'm using the button B flat here, then up to B, up to the D, up to the E, throw in the F sharp on top, that's just the blues, add the ninth in, So let's just quickly make sure that we've got this so we can apply it in other keys. So for example, we're going to be playing in B minor. So we want our B minor pentatonic. Um, and we need to know what our ninth is. So we can either go up a tone from B to the C sharp, up two semitones. Or we can know our B major scale. know from memory that C sharp is the ninth or the second note of that B major scale. So now you've got your B minor pentatonic and you can throw in your C sharp. And see how that adds that flavour. Let's do one more. So E flat minor, um, we want to put our ninth in. So we go from our E flat and either up, up a tone up from the E flat to the F or up two semitones to the F or we know our major scale and we know that the F is the second or the ninth note in our major scale so then we've got our E flat minor pentatonic And we want to add in our F to give it that extra flavour. For that extra cool, smooth sound. Okay, so no matter what key you're in, use one of those methods that we've discussed here to find the ninth. Um, anywhere that you're playing around with your minor pentatonic, Try putting in the ninth. Um, it won't fit in every situation, but it does in quite a lot. Um, so give it a try, and if that smooth, romantic sound is what you're looking to add in, that's the way to do it. I'm going to finish up by doing another little demo improvisation using this idea, um, and then I'll leave the back and track run at the end of the video so you guys can practice it as much as you'd like. Thanks very much for sticking around to the end of the video, guys. I'd love you to let me know in the comments if you like this sound, if it's something that you already knew about or you're planning to put into your playing. And don't forget that you can let me know about subjects you'd like me to cover in future videos too. Don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to catch future videos of mine. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.